this picmonic, we describe the female urinary system assessment when we see that the assessed man is in the women's restroom. By going through a patient's past medical history, which could involve prior pregnancies, pap smear history, acute pelvic pain, contraceptive use, sexual identity, sexual transmitted infections, and recurrence of urinary tract infections, the female urinary system is assessed. The urination pattern is asked of the patient, which can be described using frequency, abnormal times of day like nocturia or incontinence, painful urination or dysuria, a highly frequent amount of urination or polyuria, or minimal urination, otherwise known as oliguria. Medication history is also asked of the patient to better understand what could be a reason or an abnormal sign or symptom. For example, Azo, an over-the-counter medication used for symptom management of UTI, may lead the provider into asking about possible infection. If a pelvic examination is warranted, the patient must empty their bladder and therefore a urine collection can be obtained. Next up in the assessment is to inspect areas over the kidney and bladder. To follow that, the practitioner percusses and palpates the same area. This allows the practitioner to note if there is pain, bruising, and note any abnormal findings. The percussion of the kidneys typically lies posteriorly on the patient, should be resonant, and should not cause pain in a healthy patient. Within the acute care setting, the provider can ask for I's and O's in order to better assess the female urinary system, which may lead to further investigation of the systemic or kidney dysfunction. The characteristics of urine can show abnormalities by inspecting the color, clarity, presence of blood or hematuria, and sediment. To summarize, the female urinary system assessment can be done as a focused assessment in which the patient describes their past medical history, urination pattern, and medical history. The practitioner can then obtain a urine collection, inspect over the kidneys and bladder, percuss and palpate these areas in order to assess the urinary system further. To be more specific, I's and O's in characteristics of urine can be used as a part of the female urinary system assessment to further investigate any other pathologies. The women's restroom is a place of glee, gossip, and pee. At least that's what I discovered when I accidentally walked in. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I was just looking for my history class. Well, it's not in here. Get lost, pal. That's what I noticed, the patterns of pee on the floor. They led to a couple of bottles on the counter. There were meds, lotions, mints, and urine collection cups. Hey, that's not fair. I don't have that in the assess men's restroom. However, I see the women really look out for each other in there. Can you check me? Sure, I got you, girl. One girl said to the other as she inspected her kidneys and bladder. She even patted them down to ensure they were good. Not all the girls seemed as friendly, though. I saw another girl pawing at her fellow female's kidney and bladder to only write abnormal findings in her burn book. I didn't realize I walked on the set of Mean Girls. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our head-to-toe assessments picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from cognitive abilities assessment, cerebellar assessment, skull, scalp, and hair assessment, head, face, and neck assessment, eye assessment, and so much more, so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.